Hi, this is Ted Pattison with another video in the Fast Break with Power BI Desktop video series. In this video, we'll be looking at writing an R script to extract a CSV file from a zip archive. Before we get started, we have to install two additional pieces of software. The first is a version of R, and we're going to use Microsoft's R Open. Now, R Open is something that installs in under a minute. I can install it in about five seconds with the magic of video editing. Next, we install R Studio. R Studio is a great utility for helping you work with R scripts and gives you a much better scripting environment than Power BI Desktop will provide for you. So once we have those two products installed, we're ready to move ahead. Now I'm going to move over into Power BI Desktop. If I go to the File menu and choose Options, Settings, Options, this will take me to the Options dialog and there is an R scripting tab. And you can see that when we're working with R, Power BI Desktop always has to know where the current installation is that you're working with. Also, you can see that for certain features, Power BI Desktop could basically redirect you into a more friendly R IDE, and that's R Studio. Now, let me quickly explain the problem I'm trying to solve. We have a zip archive that's available over the internet with anonymous access, and I need to pull data out of that. So far, I have a manual process that downloads the zip archive, once I have downloaded the zip archive, I will manually take the CSV file out of that particular archive and I'll add it somewhere on my local hard drive. Once I've added it there, I can then go back to Power BI Desktop and now we can say get data and we can basically pull the data from this CSV file and open it up. But what we're trying to do is get rid of this manual step to have to pull the CSV file out of the zip archive. Okay, now we've got our marching orders. We're gonna start writing some R code, and I don't wanna start writing R code inside of Power BI Desktop. Instead, we're gonna fire up R Studio. Now, once R Studio starts, I have the ability to create a new script. So we're gonna go ahead and create a new script, file, new R script, and let's go ahead and save this as just a temp file and I'll save it with the R extension so it's an R script. Now that I've created this temporary R script inside of R Studio, I can start writing and testing my R code. Now here's the script. We're gonna have a call to a function called temp file and that's gonna create a local file for us. Next, we basically have some R code that has the URL of where this zip archive lives so we call download file, and the idea is you point to a URL, there's a zip file on the internet, and then you have your local temp file, and you basically want to write the contents of the zip archive into your local temp file. Next, we call the unz function. In R, we have a grand tradition of creating unreadable function names when you design a package, but the idea of calling unz says go into this zip archive and find the file inside named sales by customer CSV and pull that out. And then finally, the last thing that we're gonna do is we're gonna say read CSV and this is gonna pull the data out of that particular file and it's gonna create a data frame for me. Now, the last thing that I should do as I'm working uh, with Power BI Desktop and writing scripts you know, is to make sure I do whatever appropriate cleanup work. So here, I'm going to unlink to that temp file and then I'm going to delete all the temporary files that we've created along the way. Now, when it's time to test your work in Power BI uh, Desktop, you want to test before in R Studio. Note that if you want to run a script in R Studio, you run a command which is known as source. So either Control Shift S or I'll just click on source right here, that's going to run this script and one of the things that I can see is over here in the global environment, we've created a new global object, a new variable, and it is a data frame named customers, and I can see what this looks like. Okay, now that I've done that, let's go ahead and take the code that we've just written and tested for our script. We're gonna take that, we're gonna move it over to Power BI Desktop. We're gonna select get data, more, other, and our script. And then I have a text box to copy and paste my R script into and run it. It recognizes the customer data frame. And now all I have to do is a little cleanup work 
For instance, I'll go ahead and change the column names, which is easier for me to do in Power BI desktop queries than in R. I'll go ahead and do a couple other transform operations, such as switching all the M's and F's to male and female. Now I have my data set, and I can refresh my data set to rerun the script at any time. Once again, this is Ted Pattison. I'd like to thank you for watching and leave you with a call to action. If you want to join a great, passionate group of smart people, come join us at pbiug.com, the Power BI user group. If you're looking for hands-on training, come visit us at criticalpathtraining.com, home of Power BI Bootcamp and Power BI Developer Bootcamp.